Last month, the Chargers donated 150 football helmets to Compton Centennial and Gardena High School ahead of the 2021 campaign. Those two teams, coincidentally, played each other last Thursday night, but the game was secondary after tragedy struck uh, both schools last October. Here's our Chris Harry now with more. Hometown Hero, sponsored by Rotolo Chevrolet. After a trying year for coaches and student athletes alike, high school football is back in Southern California. They've been itching to get back on the field. As um, soon as summer began, we've been having, we've been out here almost every day. It's fantastic to be back. Uh, it's great to see the kids on and off the field. Two families are grieving after a gunman killed two teen athletes. Last October, 16-year-old Millian Colquitt and 17-year-old Jamil Hill were tragically shot and killed while driving with three others in Willowbrook. Hill played football at Gardena High School. Colquitt was a basketball player at Centennial who attempted to try out for the football team last fall. We did not have the adequate amount of shoulder pads or helmets available for him. So he would show up to practice, uh, really was eager uh, without all that equipment and we just didn't have enough for him. So not having football in the previous year really hurts because he could have been out there on the field at that time. With Millian, what do you want people to remember about Millian? His smile, his um, ambition. He was real goofy. Mm -hmm. And he was um, one of the kids that would like go through stuff and you wouldn't know he's going through stuff because he wants, you know, wants you to be happy. Like, cause his mom died from a car accident. And I got in a car accident right after that. And he was like taking care of me. He's selfless, like that's what I like. That's the word I can use, selfless. Jamil was a good kid as well. Like him and Million, they, they were some good kids. Um, Jamil was into football, of course. He was, Jamil was goofy, like really, really goofy. And he was like, he was a great kid. We heard about this story through a KCAL story. So we, uh, we saw it in the news and um, we wanted to do something to, to help. The Chargers helped to alleviate a major expense by donating 75 Zenith helmets to each school ahead of the football season. In addition, General Manager Tom Telesco talked to the players during training camp about teamwork and respect. It's huge. What the Chargers have provided us at least a good three to five years of activity, we can go into the community and with confidence to say that we have the equipment is sufficient to be able to allow your son to play safely and confidently to where the parents are not worried about safety. It couldn't came at a better time. We were in need of helmets. The donation from the Chargers and Zenith were just so important for our programs, uh, not just Gardena High School, but all youth football. We uh, wanted to do a special um, moment for them. They'll be playing with uh, stickers with the initials of uh, Milian and Jamil on their helmets for the game. Compton Centennial beat Gardena 20 to 18 in thrilling fashion. But Thursday night was not about results. It was about remembrance of two young men gone too soon. I didn't know he had that much of an impact on people until he passed. They did what they had to do on this earth and God wanted his angels back. But I, I miss him, I miss him a lot. I go to the graveside like every other day. So I'm gonna tell them they on TV when I go see him. They talk about y'all. <laughs> y'all made an impact, like some, some great kids. Well, an impact and then some, and, and better when I think about this story, I, this is one of the reasons why I always say, you know, keep the faith, because that's what we have to do to get through all of these obstacles that we're going through right now. Yeah, and, you know, high school athletics, it's, of course, you know, a lot of teams are out there trying to get that scholarship, trying to get to the next level, but it's not just about, you know, going and trying to play in college. It's about going and creating memories for yourself and creating memories with your friends. And a lot of schools are underserved. Great job by the Chargers providing those helmets for them because this day and age with athletic budgets so cut and slashed, mm -hmm. the ability mm -hmm. to have something like that. And great job by Chris just telling the, the side of these kids right there. And the Chargers did it because they know how they can help the community yeah, and they're sure. doing it in a very big way, that's for sure.